Welcome back artists to It's So Danica, The Art of Education. Today we're going to be looking at drawing butterflies, imaginary butterflies. So let's go ahead and start out with the body parts of an insect. You have the head, the thorax, and then the abdomen. Here are some examples of some different kinds of butterflies that you could draw. You'll notice that the wings look different on the top. They have a different shape. That one's more arced here. This one's more of a V shape. So butterflies and moths here. Lots of different colors you can choose from and even patterns. So first you wanna start out with a piece of paper. Actually, I'm gonna go horizontal on mine. So horizon, horizontal, because my butterfly is kind of horizontal. All right, so we're gonna start out with the head and then the thorax and the abdomen. Okay, so I'm filming and drawing. So um, the next part is, we're gonna go ahead and draw the forewing. Make it whatever shape you want. And then whatever you do over here, you wanna try to repeat on the other side. So there we go. Nice little wiggly wing. And then the hind wing. So you have your forewing on an insect, and then you have the hind wing is in the back behind. It kind of overlaps, so we're going to talk a little bit about overlapping, one of our art elements. And there we go. Now, one thing I noticed that, is that I would like to make this bigger and really try to fill my page. So I can easily just go around what I've already drawn and make this bigger. Oop, made a little. And then just keep on going until you have it the size that you want to make it. Really bigger is better. I'm gonna make these. And I start out with gray so that if I make any mistakes like I did right here, I can just go, up, go back with the black and trace over everything and smooth things out. I'd rather not waste the paper. Okay, so there we go. This is the beginnings of my butterfly. <clears throat> and then I like to overlap things. So I wanna make another little smaller butterfly like a baby, okay? It's your head thorax and then your abdomen. It's a little bit smaller. I'm going to make this one even just a little bit different. I'm overlapping now. My butterfly. There we go. Okay, so now is when we can start adding in our shapes. Whatever kind of shapes you want to do. You can make geometric shapes like circles or squares or triangles. It is imaginary or you can do something more organic. Okay, so my little baby one. Remember, you don't want to worry about making mistakes. It's perfectly fine. This is an imaginary butterfly. It's just about trying some stuff. Okay, and it, sometimes I like to look back and get some more examples, like how these wings are divided here, or even here. This one has some polka dot kind of shapes and designs, and then this one's great because it has a lot of different ones. This doesn't have too much. I actually like to put more um, shapes and details into mine like this. <clears throat> so you can see the tiger, tiger swallowtail and it has just a lot of different shapes. Okay. Oh, Luna Moth, it's another beautiful moth here. And this one has some really cool antenna right there. Okay, so let's go back to our drawing. Okay, we want to finish up with some details, antenna, on these guys, you can make them however you want. The body probably needs some kind of a design on it. Oh, I'm going to make this one a little different. <clears throat> and then the habitat that the butterfly lives in is probably going to have some flowers or leaves, some kind of plants. I'm going to do flowers because I just like flowers. It's up to you what you want to do. Okay, and now see how I'm overlapping? So overlapping, you really wanna to try to overlap and create these designs. So when you're finished with all your overlapping, your drawing and your overlapping, then it will be time to start the shading, okay? So you can shade with crayons or markers. If you have paint, you can go ahead and shade with that. Um, again, really the more shapes you put in, to your design, the better it's gonna look. 
So that's looking a little more finished. Okay, dividing this up. So take your time, you'll have more sections to draw, but whatever you do, whenever you draw a design on this side, you wanna go ahead and repeat the same thing on that side. So for example, if I drew a circle right there, I wanna draw another one right here, and then maybe I'm gonna do a smaller circle. So I'll do the same one there and get even smaller and smaller. So I'm repeating, and so I'm looking back at it and I'm thinking, hmm, these look a little boring, so I'm gonna add some stuff to here. I'm gonna add something like a triangular shape. Remember, these are imaginary. And then you wanna think about your colors that you're gonna put in. Okay. Okay, so that's a little sketch that's almost ready to be colored. Again, I would probably wanna add more leaves and other things from nature in here. If I finish this out and just really have fun with it, you can go into your yard and get some ideas of what kind of plants or leaves that you can add to here. And I also like to just bring the leaves right inside and put them next to my work so I know what they look like as well. But those are some good ideas for butterflies and moths right in here. All right, artists, I will see you next time on It's So Danica, the art of education.